stop partnership. On top of the iceberg, we need to have our partnership strategy in place. Why is that so? Well, you are visible out there on the market. We are visible together with our partners, right? So it's about visibility and our brand. That's why we have to very carefully select who we are partnering with. It's taking time to get into relationship with partners. That's why this is a crucial topic that demands your attention on a deeper level. Below the waterline, we have certainly a lot of topics here that we need to get clear about before we get into building relationships with possible and potential partners. It's about shared ownership, shared IP. It's all the legal topics that are involved when you are starting to work with partners, agreements, uh, different kinds of formats, types of partnership. So there's lots of questions you have to get into to first understand what that actually means for you and the product or service that you are creating. And of course, the partnering, the potential uh, partnering organizations. It is also about systems and very often about technology. Just imagine two organizations or maybe even more than that have to work together as if they were one power, one organization. It's already difficult if you are a bigger um, business or organization to work together within your organizational boundaries. Now imagine you're going beyond that and you have to have systems and technological systems in place to be able to execute, control, monitor, and just manage this relationship in a way that both sides will be happy with it.